Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Trailmakers, and today's one of those days where I'm feeling a little bit silly, and we're gonna mess around and do things we shouldn't do in Trailmakers, and today is all about wheels. We've got normal wheels, we've got big wheels, we've got small wheels, we've got skinny wheels, we've got wide wheels, we've got all kinds of wheels to mess around with. And I thought, why not just make things out of wheels, put a bunch of wheels on stuff, power the wheels, and just see what happens, what kind of craziness we can get into, and um, just have a good old time in Trailmaker's creative mode. So one of the first things that comes to mind when I think of using wheels in ridiculous ways is to basically build a wheel of wheels. And what I mean by that is like a spherical-ish type thing. You know, spheres aren't the easiest thing to do in trail makers or building games with the grid system. But um, as close as we can get, just a, a ball made of wheels basically and just see what happens when you turn them on and try to go. So let's hop into build mode and we have to start with a seat at our core. And I think, um, I think the diving bell is the way to go considering it's round and it gives us a good starting model for what we're going to be making anyway. So I'm going to start slapping some wheels around this thing. Actually, you know what? Let's start super, super simple. This is a completely experimental episode. So we might as well just start with simple experiments. Oh, that's really frustrating, isn't it? Yeah, that that's annoying that the diving, the wheels have centers, but most most of the seat, all of the seats do not have center blocks. They're, they're, they're even width. Wheels are odd width. So this is going to be an issue for symmetry here. We'll copy and paste it to this side. We'll put one in the back here. Oh man, this symmetry is so frustrating or asymmetry rather. And we'll put one there. Uh, we need an engine. I guess we can stick an engine uh, in the front just like that. And then you know what? Let's just slap a wheel on the front there. And you know what? We can stick another engine on top. And then we can use this engine to slap another wheel right up there. Oh, boy. And you know what? I think I want to try this out now and just see what this thing does. All right, I'm not pressing anything right now. This is, uh, this is just its natural state. Oh, this thing wants to go. That, why is it doing that? Apparently, wheels in bulk are uh, unstable in their natural state, but let's start pressing some gas and see what happens. We got two dragon engines on here. Three, two, one, gas. I gotta admit, this is going about as expected. Which is not, not usual when it comes to crazy experiments like this. Usually I expect one thing to happen and then it just does not end up working that way. But this is actually kind of exactly what I was expecting to happen. It's just gonna roll around and not really have any particular direction. Now what we could probably do is look at the rotation directions on all of these wheels and modify them so that they're all kind of going in a similar direction. All right, so you now I'm just going to flip like half the wheels and just see how that affects things. All right, there we go. This is probably not going to be any different. It is a little bit. This actually seems to be settling down more upright than before. I have no steering on this thing. Oh, imagine putting steering on all the wheels. I wonder how that would affect things. You know what? Let's do it. I'm not even going to look at what direction the steering is going to be going. I'm just going to separate all these wheels by a single block, add a steering hinge in between all of them, and just see what happens. That's what this video is all about. Do weird stuff, see what happens. Did I just come up with a new channel motto? Do weird stuff, see what happens. I gotta admit, it is, it, it kind of, it, it does represent a lot of the content on this channel. Let me know down in the comments what you think about that. Do weird stuff, see what happens. Is that a phrase worthy enough for catching? Like a catchphrase. You get it? Never mind. Just, just let me know down in the comments. All right, here we go. Steering hinges have been added. So now let's see how this looks. Ready? Oh, oh, that's interesting. That is interesting looking. Okay, let's start going. Now, <laughs> whoa, that was, that was a first. 
I didn't press steering yet. Alright, I'm gonna turn left. That definitely made me spin left more. Alright, now I'm gonna turn right. Whoa! Whoa! That felt weird. I don't know if you guys, like, felt that, but it just kind of broke my expectation of what direction it was gonna be going or what it was gonna be doing. And it felt really floaty for a second. That was kind of cool looking. I think the steering hinges are a great addition. Look at that! I love it when it just kind of like starts to almost like glide across the ground. It feels oddly satisfying. And at the same time, it, it looks very disturbing. I honestly, I feel like I could just watch this thing go for like 20 minutes straight. But um, I kind of want to try more things. Do more experiments. Whoa, that was a cool one. I want to do more experiments. Like there's all these weird things that keep happening and it's so satisfying to watch. But let's replace all these wheels with uh, the big monster truck wheels and see if that behaves any differently. All right, here we go. Monster truck wheel time. I don't know if this is going to be better or worse or just the same. Okay. All right, I'm not turning or anything yet. The wheels are a little bit heavier. So I think that they're kind of, they're a little bit harder to pick up speed with these engines. But there's no, oh, look at that. This is, I'm turning right right now. And this is the result. All right, now I'm going left and not a whole lot has changed. Yeah, so this one seems to kind of stabilize. Oh, when, when they're not turning at all, they destabilize. But when we're turning, it seems to stabilize a lot more. You can see like they kind of, they reach like a level triangle where it just starts spinning us in a circle. Whether I'm turning left or right, it doesn't matter. This for some reason has, seems like to have a much more defined shape. We have like a triangle on the bottom and a triangle on the top. Whereas with the other wheels, I didn't really see that at all visually. And it didn't really seem to settle down with that. So that's kind of interesting, the difference with that. Okay, so now I want to expand things a lot more and I'm probably going to use small wheels so we can just have a lot more wheels and I'm going to try to make it more spherical and I'm also going to add more engines so we'll have more speed as well. So this is going to take a little bit longer to work out. So uh, let's go ahead and roll the time lapse. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have a thing. I don't know what this thing's gonna do, but it's a thing. It's got wheels. And uh, so we're gonna hop in, we're gonna press the gas, and we're gonna see what happens. I used the spike wheels because I thought they were the most interesting looking wheels of this size. Okay, so here we go. What bet, place or bet? Are we gonna go anywhere? Are we just gonna rotate in place? I don't even know what direction these wheels are rotating compared to each other. I just slapped them on and uh, that's all I did. All right, here it goes. It's a little bit faster than I expected, I'll admit. It's kind of awesome. Oh man, it goes so fast sometimes. It's like the ultimate breakdancing car. Except it's not really a car at all, it's just a sphere of wheels. We can't just do this on flat land. We're, we're essentially a ball. We have to go up somewhere and roll. That's what balls do is they roll and they roll down a hill because of gravity and stuff. So let's try to get this thing rolling. Oh man, um, easier said than done apparently. Oh, here we go, here we go. If you, uh oh, uh oh, oh, oh. just trying to, I just want to get to a downhill area. Come on, come on, yes, just start rolling, start rolling. Yes, we'll pick up some momentum and then we'll add the gas. I'm just rolling right now. I'm not putting any gas into it. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, now forward. Oh boy. Oh, oh, we lost the wheel. Oh, we're gonna lose a lot more now. We're gonna lose a lot more now. Oh boy. Ooh, 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 we're surviving. We're still surviving. Uh-oh. Ooh, we didn't survive that one. That was, that was a bit of a rough one there. Can I respawn right here? Oh. <gasps> 
Oh, no. Oh, oh, we're surviving. I'm impressed. Does this thing float? Oh, look at that. It floats. We've got a floating sphere wheel. And when I, I can't use the gas, oh, there we go. When the engines are underwater, they don't work. So most of the engines are underwater. So this is really not working that well, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and stick this guy right on the catapult. And are you ready? Here we go. Okay. Uh, it's gone. Get into the slot. Get it. Oh, there we go. Oh, what? That was not the expected result. Launch. Launch. Oh, uh, nope. All right. Well, it's cannon proof. Okay, so now for the fun part, we have this giant hill to roll down. So I'm just gonna put this thing right here. We're gonna hop in and uh, let's press the gas and see how far we can get down the hill and how many wheels, if any, we have by the time we reach the bottom. Don't go to the catapult. Please, please, not the catapult. Okay, good. We managed to avoid the catapult. Oh, we lost one wheel so far. That's one down. How many do you think we'll have by the time we reach the bottom? I'm, I'm gonna guess we're, we'll still have wheels. I may wanna I may wanna rescind that guess. We're down two more wheels and it's gonna get much steeper very quickly. I don't even know how many wheels we had to begin with, to be honest, so I don't know how many we're gonna lose. Oh no, this is like the steepest part. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Zero. Zero is the answer. So now I want to experiment with other things with wheels. And what I'm thinking of is just basically a flat platform. And then I'm just going to add a whole bunch of wheels to all sides so that no matter which direction it flips or is landing, there's just going to be a bunch of wheels in contact with the ground. Turning, I don't know how I'm going to do turning. If I'm even going to do turning, maybe we'll just have it just go straight. But um, we're just going to do weird stuff and see what happens. Okay, so I decided to use the thin wheel for this for no particular reason. Actually, it worked out really well because I was able to, even if this thing flips over on its flat side, I added a layer in here where there's some of these wheels and I think they should technically come in contact with the ground. I don't know how that's going to work with the collisions. Hopefully these wheels don't come in contact with the ground instead, but uh, it should have wheel contact on all sides. And I just want to see what happens when we drive this thing around. I put a lot of engines in here, by the way. I don't know if you can see, but there's um, eight over here, eight over here, so that's 16 engines total. So let's hop in and see what it does. Oh, that's the way I was not expecting to go. Oh, it screeches. It makes a bunch of noise. Oh, oh, this, my FPS does not like it. All right, come on, keep going. Oh, we just picked up a bunch of speed. This thing is made for uh, tarmac, apparently. Oh man. We're like a wheel rocket. We're a rocket of wheels. Oh no, there's a rock. I think I might enjoy this better than the ball of wheels. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, we've made a terrible mistake. A wonderful but terrible mistake. Yep, that's that's what I expected to happen. Okay, so I want to see if it flips on its side. Does it actually still work as intended? All right, there we go. We are on the side. It works. I actually really wasn't sure what to expect with this direction. I can't believe this actually works. That's pretty awesome. I have no grip. No grip on this terrain. Um, We need... Oh, here we go. Here we go. This right here. This is gonna be fun if we were actually facing at the right way. Oh, wait, we're turning. We're turning. No, we're not turning enough. We're just gonna go off into the ocean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the anticlimax there. You know what? I have to add turning onto this. We, we can do it. It is very, very subtle, but enough to aim us where we wanna go. So I'm happy with that. Okay, we're gonna get destroyed or we're gonna make it up. Here we go. Not bad. We lost the middle wheels, which was weird. <laughs> I like how it just collapses down. That is so weird. We did better that time, I think. 
All right, this thing's pretty cool. All right, now that we can turn, let's see how far we can go. I'm just gonna travel back. We're gonna see if we can go through the archway and hopefully have enough turning to actually drive down the tarmac. All right, here we go. Turn right, turn, turn right. I'm, oh, this is not working. This is, this is very unfortunate. I'm, oh. I was really hoping we were gonna make it through one of these. All right, well, we got this jump here, so let's take this thing off the jump and see what happens. Uh, oh, the front wheels did go off that time. Are we gonna land? Hey, we didn't completely destroy ourselves that time, but uh, unfortunately, we can't drive off of that. Okay, so now I think the only other test is uh, down the hill, just like we did with the ball, just to see how does it compare. Well, here goes nothing. I'm turning to the right. Hey, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. We're, we're drifting. We are drifting hard. Oh, no. Oh, we're going still. We're still going. This is great. This is fantastic. This It works. It works just as intended. This is wonderful. I have no turning anymore, but hey, at least we're going, right? Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, look at that. Look at that. I don't know which direction my wheels are spinning right now. I don't know where I'm facing. We're going into the water. Yeah, this one does not float. All right, let's try the monster truck wheel version. Okay, here we go. Now this one, I do not have room to put the sideways wheels. So if we flip to the side, oh, this looks so cool. If we flip to the side, we're pretty much done. Also, I haven't put steering in this one either, but we'll worry about that after we just give it a quick try. You know what? More engines. Okay, oh, this one turns so much better than the other one. Wow. And we have some grip on um, both terrain styles. So I'm actually surprised this doesn't go nearly as fast as I was hoping it was going to. And I think that's just a limit of the, uh, whoa. It glides. Ooh. We can still drive. <laughs> we can still drive. This thing is incredible. Look at this. Oh, we have no control anymore, but hey, we're still going and we lost 90% of our wheels. So that's pretty awesome. I think I was saying something about it. Uh, it the, the, there's a limit of the monster truck wheels and the speed that they can go probably, but let's go ahead and crush it. Yeah, it didn't survive that, unfortunately. Although I don't think any of us expected it to. Oh, it, it's a monster truck. Ow. All right. Whoa, that was kind of cool. If this thing just had suspension. Hmm. If this thing had suspension. You know what? I got... I. Kinda, I kind of have to see that now. I gotta put suspension on. Look at this. It's like a, it's like a, uh, what do you call it? Like a shuffle, what, what is it called? Curling, curling, not sure. I was thinking like shuffleboard, but I think more like curling. Reminds me of curling just across the ice. Yeah, this thing is, uh, it's kind of crazy how well it glides on its side. I like that a lot. Let's go into the wheel of, or not the wheel, the bowl of doom real quick and just watch what happens. Oh, oh. Things full of surprises. We're down to the left. Oh, and there we go. Yeah, that took quite a few more hits than I expected it to. Okay, so I think I have added suspension to all the wheels. I really don't know what to expect, but hopefully it'll be a little bit more. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. Hey, hey, this thing ain't too bad now. All right, we have to try a jump with this thing and see if the landing can actually happen without getting destroyed completely. The suspension is our only hope for that. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. Place your bets now. Is it gonna break or is it gonna survive? Here we go. I, I actually thought it was gonna break. I am, oh no. The suspension does not work that way. But hey, we can still drive and now we're gonna die. Oh, maybe not. Man, this thing keeps surprising me with its resilience. I forgot we still actually have suspension on this thing. Yeah, this is crazy. This thing is just absolute craziness. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm just gonna go as fast as I can straight down. I'm not gonna go through the archway. I'm gonna go the steeper way because I think that's more fair to compare it to the other ones. But oh, we're gonna get some air here. We're gonna die. We're so gonna die. Oh no, this is terrible. 
Yeah, that was just complete and utter destruction. You think we can get up this? No way. Holy cow. That is a steep hill. How steep do you think this thing can get up? This is not gonna happen. No way. This thing is a hill climbing beast. Look at this thing go. Look at how steep this is. We would have been able to make it up here if not for these rocks. Oh yeah, look at this. Look how steep this one gets. No, we're reaching the limit. We're so reaching the limit. Look at that. That's almost vertical. Like that pretty much gets vertical before we're done. This is a really impressive creation actually. So you know what? I'm gonna replace, hold on. Let me look at the wheel descriptions. Large and heavy wheel with good overall grip. Large and heavy wheel with, oh, so they have like almost the same grip. But let's replace them out because they're the same size. And I just want to see uh, what the difference is. Does that truck wheel have more grip than the monster truck wheel? I really doubt it. All right, these wheels actually are a little bit smaller. I don't know why I thought they were the same size, but um, let's go ahead and see how this does. All right, and here it goes. It's doing pretty well so far. It is definitely doing really, really well, but no, not gonna cut it. I think they're really similar. I didn't go the exact same path, so it's really hard to tell exactly the difference, but it does feel pretty similar as far as the grip goes. All right, we're just gonna go off this cliff here. Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh, feels a little bit less resilient though. So this is an idea that I've just had in my head for the longest time and have been putting off doing because I kept coming up with other ideas instead. But let me know what you thought of this and if you have any other crazy, weird stuff ideas that you'd like to see me just do in Trail Makers. I'd love to hear those in the comments down below. And um, if you missed some of the other crazy ideas that I've done in Trail Makers, go check out this video right here because this is also just another crazy thing with it that was very experimental and had some interesting results in Trailmakers. So um, let me know what you think. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.